Now you may have seen us in a previous video talk about using the restraint recall. Whether you're teaching a puppy to respond to their name or you're building value for your dog's come command. So what you're about to see today is that exact exercise turned into a competition. We've got our instructors here and we're going to put them head to head to find out today who's got the fastest dog. I'm Ken Steep. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. This episode is brought to you by Yukonuba. Your dog's recall is possibly the single most important skill they're going to learn. It can actually save their life, but the key to a great recall is motivation. Teaching your dog that every time they hear that recall word, something fun and exciting and motivating is going to happen is what's going to get them to turn off of those tough distractions. When one of our instructors went to a local kennel club sprint dog race, she told us about how much fun it was and we thought what a great opportunity for us to take this training skill, this training exercise and package it in a way that you can actually do it as well and turn it into a competition. So today we've grabbed some high speed camera equipment, we've got uh, our field marked out. Let's head out and find out how this competition is going to work. So each of our competitors will start here in a 15 foot start box, they'll hand their dog off to someone who's gonna hold them, they'll get their dog focused on the toy, and then they lead out. Down here, 25 meters, we're going to have timing blocks set up so we can know the exact time that the dog crosses the line. Now, we're actually going to judge this event based on kilometers per hour, not just the time. So that's the numbers you're going to see here on screen. Now, in the round robin, there'll be three runs. The best average speed over the three runs, top three dogs will move on to the finals. The finals, down to two runs. Top average speed over those two runs is the winner. Now you can see both dogs and handlers are having a blast during this competition, but this isn't just about running fast. This is about teaching a recall. And these are the foundation steps for that. And I'm going to give you three tips that you can do with your dog at home to have this kind of response with your recall. Number one, a safe and secure place where there's very few distractions where your dog can focus on you and you alone. Number two, pick your motivator, whether it's a toy or food or a tennis ball or just your voice, you need to find something that drives your dogs crazy and gets them focused on you. Number three, start close. Starting close allows your dog to stay more focused. These dogs are running quite a distance as you can see, but for young, your young puppy, it's important that you train the end behavior first and add distance gradually as the dogs can stay more focused on you. So start close, pick that motivator, have fun with it. Now let's get back to the action and see how the dogs are doing. Now qualifiers have completed, we've tabulated the scores, now it's time for you to find out who's going to be competing in our main event today. Which dogs get to wear the coveted pink collar and compete in our main event? Let's start things off with the small dogs class. Hi, I'm Instructor Kim. This is my five month old border collie named Drift. This is our first time running in the sprint races and we are super excited to be out there having fun. And my priority today is just to make sure my little boy stays safe and learn to have a very fun, reliable recall. Hi, I'm Instructor Lauren and this is my two year old Papillon, Biggie Smalls. We're excited to be in the finals today and he'll pretty much do anything for tennis ball. So we're really hoping this will help kick in the afterburners.
Hi, my name is Julie. I've been an instructor here at McCann's for about six to seven years now. And this is my dog, Banjo. He came into our home about uh, a year and a half ago now. Um, he has a little bit of an interesting story. He was born in Mexico and lived the first few months of his life in a shelter down there. He then came up to Canada and lived with a foster family for several months before my husband and I adopted him. Banjo has uh, gone through um, the obedience program here at McCann's. He excelled. Um, one of uh, the greatest things um, with him was his recalls because I'd call him and he would come so fast, so incredibly fast that he can really run. Hi, my uh, name is Deb McCann and I'm a partner with my husband Marty in McCann Professional Dog Trainers, dog training school that we run here in Flamborough, Ontario. This here is my little uh, dog Purple. She's a border collie, seven years old and she's uh, my best pal and we do lots of stuff together. She uh, came to me a little unusually. I never planned on having a puppy. Uh, we bred a litter to find a puppy for my husband and something happened, some connection happened along the way. By about four weeks, she decided she belonged to me and um, loved the sound of my voice and kept her eye on me all the time. So when we were trying to decide at six weeks who was gonna get what puppy to go home in a couple of weeks um, to their new home, uh, I realized I could just never give her up. And so I had to keep her and she's been my best pal since, uh, since that time. And we're really looking forward to this competition um, that we're running here today. But there is one thing, she has her four-year-old daughter, Beeline, who will be competing against her in the same division and uh, I think she's going to be hard pressed to uh, to compete with her. She's very much like um, her mother, a beeline is, and uh, we're just going to give it our best shot and see how she does. Hi, I'm Kel McCann, and I happen to have two dogs in the finals. This is Toy Poodle Hippie Shake. She's about seven years old, and this is my young border collie, Beeline, who's four. Now, I'm normally pretty competitive in the dog sport of agility, and I've never tried sprint dog racing before, so I'm really excited to see how the dogs fare in the finals. Hey guys, I'm Steve and this is my young border collie named Final. He is a year and a half old and we've been doing a lot of training, a little obedience and a little bit of agility stuff, but this is his first big competition. He's been running fast and he's been enjoying these recall games that we play, so fingers crossed that we do well in the finals. Hi, I'm Robbie Stevenson and this is my border collie, So. She is um, 15 months old and she's just starting to get into dog sports and having lots and lots of fun. Um, I've taught classes at McCann's for 14 years and then um, unfortunately had to move away so I had to give up my teaching job. Um, but I'm thrilled to be back now. Um, I'm back working online and I'm loving teaching and um, giving all sorts of advice online. And uh, we're really looking forward to this afternoon's competition. Um, so is um, excited and um, I'm hoping she'll give me everything she's got, which is usually 110%. Hi, I'm Instructor Rob. This is my Border Collie Ketchup. He's four years old. We practice our uh, recalls every single day and I'm really interested in seeing how quick he can get through this course.
Steve tabulates the scores and we find out who today's fastest dog is, I need to say a huge thank you to our sponsor. A huge thank you to the sponsor of our video today, Eukanuba. Each Eukanuba formula features Active Advantage. It's an exclusive protein and nutrient power design that helps fuel your dog's body, mind, and their energy. We create videos here on our YouTube channel to help you get out and do more with your four-legged family member. And Eukanuba believes that with dogs, an active life is a healthy life. And we couldn't agree more. Check out the link in the description below to find out which Eukanuba formula is right for your dog. Whew. Well, three supercomputers tabulated all the results that we just got from our round robins and our finals. And I'm gonna give you the results right now. Now, in our small dog category with an average combined speed of 31.75 kilometers an hour, the happy pappy with the ears for days, it's Biggie Biggs and Lauren. Biggie Smalls, how are you, buddy? Lauren, are you surprised at how fast Biggie actually runs? 30, yeah. Almost 32 kilometers an hour. It's such a cool event to actually like see it in numbers. I mean, he's pretty quick running with my dogs, but to be motivated on his own just for a tennis ball and to have it clocked is actually pretty cool. Uh, Absolutely, we love putting these numbers to them. We love seeing how fast our dogs run. Now let's check in with our medium dog results. So the results are in for our medium dog category and with an average speed of 39.57 kilometers an hour, Camel Can and Yay! Beeline, the little smooth go to Bear Car. Congratulations, yeah. what are your thoughts? Are you yeah. surprised how fast you ran? I am so surprised at how fast you ran. We are used to doing agility where you go, you know, back and forth and through obstacles, not really in a straight line. So it was really cool to see just how fast you could go. Well, congratulations to you and B. Now let's pop outside and track down our fastest dog of the day from the large category. In the large dog category, with an average speed over two final runs of 39.65 kilometers an hour, Rob and Ketchup. Rob, come on in here. Ketchup, how are you, buddy? Excellent job. Rob, how do you feel about Ketchup being the fastest large dog in the group over those uh, five runs overall? How do you feel he did? Well, it was a real team effort there. Uh, we uh, dug deep and uh, consistent runs all day long. Absolutely. Now, do you have anybody to thank before we uh, move on and send you off to your next disc event? Uh, just thank Ketchup here. He's running fast today. Ketchup, boy. Ketchup. Good job. If you're looking for even more tips so that your dog has a reliable recall, make sure you check out that playlist right there. And if this is your first time on our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.